And why did they wait till like a couple months away to say, oh, we need to do mail-in ballots? Listen, let's not vote by mail-in ballots. Let's just go vote in person because Bill Gates wants people dead. Hey, uh, hey, hey, Mike. Yeah, Mikey. We're gonna make the post office great again. Hoo-hoo. <laughs> the post office is filled with leftists. Uh, we're gonna make the postal service great again. Those are the guys that don't want to work, right? What, what did the Russians used to say? They pretend to pay us, we pretend to work. Hey, when is uh, when is Donald Trump gonna push Putin's vaccine? This I can't wait for. Do you know what Putin's vaccine is? Yeah, it's pure poison. I dare you to take that first. It's hydrochloroquine and zinc. Yeah, baby. That's that's the thing. That's the thing to take. Probably cyanide. Hey, uh, did you get my email, uh, Mike? Yes, I read them all, man, but sometimes I can't respond because I'm working. No, no, I sent it to this afternoon. <clears throat> Tell me one instance in, since 1950-whatever that there has been an instance of someone having heart problems by taking uh, uh, hydrochloroquine. Give me one. I'm going to tell you right now, you try it out first and you tell me how it is. I don't have to try it out first, Mike. With all due respect, it's been tried out thousands of times with nothing but success. This is what I try and put across to you. It works. There are many, many thousands of people who have been, have, have, have lessened the, uh, uh, the effects of the COVID. It's a fact. And for the left to, to, to just dismiss it is 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 ludicrous and it quite honestly it's uh um it's shameful it really is uh, just because donald trump says oh uh, this might work and he never said to take bleach so they could stuff that up everybody's keys there too that's another one but not one problem since 19 since the 1950s with hydro, hydroxychloroquine and now all of a sudden that they want they, it, it works for covid now, all of a sudden, oh, there, there's heart problems. That's a lie. It's a bold-faced lie. We're being told a lie. It's, there's nothing to back up that claim. Zero. Yeah, but you're leaving out the important part. Which is? Where did the claim that hydrochloroquine, hydroxychloroquine causes heart problems come from? Uh, just tell us, Mike. Cut to the chase. The Lancet published a study. It was bullshit. And they retracted that study, but the liberals didn't retract the bullshit. Right, they kept it up. Exactly. That's my point. How many thousands of people could have lived, could have survived, had they given them the the three drugs, hydroxychloroquine, zithromycin, and zinc? How many people could have been saved, yet the Democrats and the left and this asswipe, this ass hat Fauci, who's been completely wrong from the get-go, don't, don't wear a mask, wear a mask. It's not going to come here, it's here. Uh, the guy's been, been 180 degrees out uh, from the truth ever since uh, he started. He should, be, he should be kicked out of government or something, but it's, it's a lot. You're, you're being gaslighted and you're being lied to. And you know, I'm, quite honestly, I'm a, I'm a tired of being lied to like that. Or I'm not being lied to. I'm listening to the, to the science and to the facts. Where I'm not listening to the Democrats. That's for damn sure. Mm, president. Drop dead, you friggin' raspberry douchebag. Show me that you what are you farting? Hey, <laughs> see, he's coming out of Biden's butt. You see, if they don't agree with you, they just come out and they, they, and they, they throw this bullshit out here. They, they try and, well, he's unsuccessfully trying to jam us. You know what? Ass white. If you have something to say, you, you've got an opposing opinion. I'm more than happy to hear it. But you don't have an opposing opinion. Therefore, you have to be a douchebag. So, there you go. You're a douchebag. So it worked for Paul Vallone. No, it worked for him. It's worked for thousands of people, Mike. Thousands and thousands of people. That's my point. Who had lupus? No. <laughs> hey, she is a racist. Hey, Joe, after that whole thing with Tulsi Gabbard when she outed uh, Kamala Harris and said all that stuff about what she did in her uh, prosecuting days, I think that's when she took it down, uh, went downhill. Hey, look. For good reason, I heard Mike. that Tulsi Gabbard's going to be speaking at the RNC convention. 
for good reason, Mike. She she brought up some very valid points. I mean, she refused to allow DNA that would that would have cleared people on death row. She kept people in prison so they she could use them for a workforce. Uh, she put uh, thousands and thousands of people in in jail for for minor offenses with marijuana. And then she turns out she go, goes on that that uh, that douchebag the douchebag the god I think his name is yeah douchebag the god yeah that's him. And, and admits that she smoked. I mean, the, the woman flip flops like a flounder. Then she's banging a sixty-year-old. She's thirty, banging a sixty-year-old to uh, to get into politics to advance herself. I mean, she's a, she's an abject failure. Well, here, what are you saying? She's a Fargan cork soaker. She's a cork soaker. Yeah. So Miller. So, and here's the other thing, too, though. So even though Kamala Harris is accused of all these things, or probably did all these things, right? Biden picks up another 150,000 brand new voters, 150,000 brand new voters, and $26 million because of the announcement of Harris. I don't think that's, I don't think he's going to, I don't think she's going to have an effect on the black vote. Do you really? Well, that's what I want to know. I want to know, is the black voters going to show a force? For Camilla Harris, I, I'm just I'm, I'm watching this closely. I want to see if what happens if they come out for her. They didn't before. That's my point. They didn't before. What makes them think they're going to now? I mean, you know. And then come. It would shock you how many black people support Trump. Camilla Harris is not really right. black. She's Jamaican and something else. Yeah, She's uh, Indian and Jamaican. Mike I believe. Yeah. Rich. I, I'm not. I wouldn't be shocked at all. By the way, Mike, go on, Rich. Yeah, I was just, uh, I don't know if you heard me, but uh, yeah, Camilla Harris is not, she's Jamaican and Indian. She's not even black. Exactly. She can't be president. She's not a natural born citizen. Oh, only if she, I don't know, was she born here or, or I know her family wasn't, but um, was she born here though? Your family has to be born here to be president. Look it up. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, well, we know what we know what happened with that the last time, right? Yeah, we got a foreign nationalist president. <laughs> but, wait, <laughs> but wait, Trump is from Germany. But he was he's born not. here. Come on, he's a Nazi. Come on, he's a Nazi. Uh, are you gonna go there, Mikey? You gonna call him Hitler now? <laughs> Left Nazi. Come on, he's Mikey. Probably a born again. Come on, Nazi come on, come on, man. Uh, you listen. You ever heard? Of, you ever heard of reincarnation? Let me tell you something. Adolf could be in there. <laughs> oh, Mike, I don't know why I like you, but I do. I, I'm, I'm still, I'm still baffled by that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I you know. Hitler was, was a Jew. Years, and I'm, I'm still baffled. Hey, Trump Joe. is the Third Reich. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you see the thing that was just on the news about an hour ago? Uh, if you weren't on the radio yet. Uh, with with uh, the book that just came out, the guy that got the house arrest there. Was it Cohen? The book that said that he uh, he helped uh, Trump fix the election. He helped at all these uh, scandals. and uh, You want to see what they're, they're saying in this book. He's a bold-faced liar. He's a crook. He's a criminal. That's why he's in jail, because he's a scumbag. Okay, let's 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 uh, get to our facts straight. Uh, what happened to uh, to what was it? The niece of Donald Trump. She came out with a book. Well, where'd that go, guys? Right down the drain. This is all bullshit. Yeah, exactly. Understand she was disinherited, and she had an axe to grind. Yeah, she was pissed off. Absolutely. And that had nothing to do with Trump. AI on the web page came up and it uh, alerted me. It says, did, did you hear this? People in Hollywood are leaving by the droves. There are a lot of people moving out of Hollywood, these uh, stars. What the hell's going on? They know that they're going to be doing that tax. That's why. Yeah, you see uh, uh, Homo Cuomo begging the rich people to come back to New York? Oh, yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah they have the means, Richie. They pull roots up and move. The, the problem, Rich, is that um, they, they know that they're going to be doing that wealth tax, and they're getting out of Dodge. I mean, he's leaving, he's taking Tesla with him, probably space net and everything else. You know, going to Texas. Uh, 
any more satellites or anything else from from um, California under him. Yeah, but you think with all their money, these high rich society people moving out in droves because of taxes, they got tons of money. Well, you heard AOC, wealth taxes. Or could it be the other reason, like Tom Hanks flew away? No, picture this, Richie. You got a bank account. Every year they want 10% of it. Well, it, it, it's crazy. It really is because, you know, it's just, you tax on everything. You work, you get taxed. They take a lot of taxes out of your hard-earned money. Then you go and spend it on things. Then you got to pay taxes on those. There goes more of your money. The taxes are gone. Gasoline, anything, taxes. Then your home taxes, they raise your taxes all the time. You're paying those taxes. Then you got a school tax. You don't even have kids that go to school. You're paying taxes. It's just the most ridiculous thing. I know, yeah, they do the roads. They do that and this and that. And the roads are crap. <laughs> Oh, man, I don't know. They just take way too much out of you with these taxes. Hey, you, you, you missed it, huh? Yeah, tell me. Trump decided an executive order removing all taxes from working man's checks if you make under 100000 a year, retroactive to July 1. And he said if he gets reelected, he may eliminate it permanently. Yeah, but Joe said uh, it, it didn't get voted or something. It, it didn't go yet. He said that they didn't do it yet because the missus works over there part-time. They, they're taking taxes all out. Yeah, it's a mistake. They're pretending it didn't happen. Well, how do you, they, uh, yeah. they, uh, That's what I mean. They're doing it to everybody. Them or just defer them because I heard that they were just deferring them. And that means if he's just deferring them, these companies got to hold on to that money. They can't not take it out because come come next year, the IRS is going to say, hey, now you owe me that money that was deferred, you know? So the difference between deferring it and forgiving it. Nah, he said if he gets reelected, it'll, it'll be forgiven and instituted permanently. Hey, let me ask you a question, a thinking person's question. What did the United States do before we created the, uh, well, we didn't create the IRS. The crooks created the IRS in 1913. How did we pay our bills back then? We didn't take out of anything out of anybody's check. Nobody got a check back then anyway. Yeah, you're right. How did we, uh, how did, how did they pay for uh, the government? Import tariffs. Oh, there you go. But see, we got rid of all those. Trump put them back on, but we got rid of a lot of them, and that's where all our manufacturing went overseas. We got what we got to do is reduce the size of government dramatically, and go back to that old plan and get the hell out of the people's pocketbooks. My, this. Let me see if I got it. How about Congress and Senate? don't get a pension only after one term. And they don't get automatic raises every time the Senate and the Congress get a raise. People that are retired from the Congress 30 years ago are making as much as a regular senator is now because they get the salary equal to what the new guys are getting. So, that right? I'm sure you guys are retired. Oh, yeah, yeah, well, years ago, Congress didn't get nothing. It was called public service. You put your life aside for so many years and you served your country. They may have got some money to defray their expenses, but they didn't get any salaries or pensions or medical benefits. That's right. That's exactly right, Mike. It was the uh, it was the duty of the gentleman farmer to serve the government for a limited amount of time. Limited? Well, how, how come Congress doesn't have term limits like the president does? Well, if you're not really making any money, you just get your expenses deferred. You don't want to be doing that too long. They got a, they got a retirement pension after one term. Yeah, for the rest of their life. That's what I'm saying. The, the system has been turned corrupt in so many ways it's not silly. The other thing that made it worse was you know, the Congress is, is now voted in 
not appointed by the governor. And now they get a salary and they're separate from their state. Years ago, if uh, the states didn't like what they were going to vote on, they called them home. Yeah. Wow. Well, now you got to remember you got, in a federal level, you got the Speaker of the House. Uh, very, very busy the last couple of weeks here, so uh, I won't keep them on, but uh, Rob, I agree with... My only base for that. ...parallels to the decline of the Roman Empire. This is the decline of the United States of America, uh, and hopefully we won't see it in our time, but... Um, um, our kids and, well, I don't know whether our kids will even make it. You're going to see in your lifetime, the central banks in deep shit right now, and they're coming down. Mark my words. There comes a point in time where it's mathematically impossible to continue. And usually they, they induce a world war at the time and blame the, blame the huge expense on the war. They've been doing this since the beginning of time here in America. Well, war is uh, big money, Mike, you know? That's why Kennedy was assassinated, because he didn't want to go to war. Same as Trump. He doesn't want to go to war. Major General Smedley Butler wrote a book, War is a Racket. You should read it. This goes back to the revolutionary, the Civil War, I'm sorry, not the revolutionary, but the Civil War. World War I was contrived, two, you name it, Korea, the Vietnam War, the Gulf of Tonkin was a bunch of bullshit. And by the way, while I'm on the subject, what happened to the USS Liberty on June 8th, 1967? June 8th, 1960. I don't know. What happened, Mike? Uh, it was over in the Middle East over there. It was attacked by our good friends. And our, our boys were strafed to death. They're in lifeboats, and, and they're, they're strafing them and killing them all. Whoever managed to survive, they were sworn to secrecy for the rest of their life. So, Mike, what's your uh, what's it, your impartial opinion? And I and I say impartial opinion of how this uh, election's going to shake out. And don't just say Trump's going to win. Give, give give me some logic behind it. Well, if the mail-in vote is stopped. That's the only angle the Commiecrats have left to cheat. Uh, the electronic cheating was uh, put to an end. That's why they need this phony virus and uh, phony pandemic, should I say, and the mail-in vote to try to cheat. And uh, they're going to try to extend the counting beyond Inauguration Day and then claim that Nancy Pelosi's president, who they have to appoint an interim president, Yeah. You know what's really going to happen? What? Trump's going to win by a landslide. They're going to shit their pants. If Trump, no. if Biden wins, you know, apparently, um, uh, not AOC, Kamala Harris is already interviewing people for the vice president. I, I don't know... I thought under the Constitution, if the president um, is removed for some reason, the vice president becomes the president, and the Speaker of the House will become the vice president. But apparently, I don't know, if maybe Nancy Pelosi doesn't want to be second fiddle. I don't know. But that's pretty much the way it's supposed to go. But for some reason... There's some kind of shenanigans going on there. And, you know, the whole thing is that I, I don't know when, when my when my dead wife and my son that moved to Florida, um, almost 20 years ago, 
get voting ballots, I know that there's something seriously wrong. Oh, absolutely. They're desperate. The closer we get to November, the more you'll realize how desperate they are. And there was another station. I'm sorry, I, I, I forgot your call. Uh, you wanted to say something? Yeah, Mike, it's Rick, N1IRL. And uh, I said I can't wait until the evening of November 3rd and tune around to all these lamestream media channels and watch their faces when they see Trump's going to win again. I did that uh, in 2016. It was hilarious watching all these uh, all these uh, news outlets who uh, all thought that Hillary was going to win by a landslide. <laughs> all of a sudden, you should see their faces when they realize Trump's going to win. That's why they need the mail-in ballot to cheat. Because that's the only way a Democrat commie wins is by cheating. Well, what do you think's going on in New Jersey? The rest of the state is, is run by these commie uh, cities. Yeah, look at the uh, look at the mailer fraud. They just had a local election uh, here in New Jersey, Mike, and what was it like ten percent of the votes had to get thrown out? Yeah, it happened in Patterson. And Marxist Murphy said, oh, don't worry about it. The police is investigating. That won't happen in November. That was Patterson. Yeah, that's what I said. And there were Mohammeds involved. And they found a lot of the ballots thrown out by the Garden State Parkway. Thousands of ballots littered in the, the parkway. You just got a preview of the of the uh, November mail-in election. Yeah, I also saw that these mail-in ballots, um, when they when they mail them to you, there's a big number on them, and they they claim they're going to be anonymous. Nobody knows, but there's a big number on them. And if you're a registered Democrat, there's a letter D in the middle of all those numbers. And if you're a registered Republican, there's a letter R in all those numbers. Don't you think whoever's collecting those ballots is going to see anything that has an R in it? They're going to get lost. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the thinking people already know this. That's why it's so ridiculous. I remember what Kamalot Harris said. They're going to go after the Trump voters with a vengeance. Did you say Kamalot, Mike? Yeah, Kamalot Harris. The four. WX2T, uh, the sex therapist up in uh, Rogues Island. Oh, uh, you, do you know Dr. Ruth Westheimer? Uh, Dr. Ruth Westheimer, let me tell you something about uh, oral sex. Don't. She said, one night she said a long time ago, Mike, she said... There was a caller that came in. The girl was very young. And she was very naive. And when she said, Dr. Ruth, I'm a v I am I don't know what to think about oral sex. She says, I'm, I'm, I don't know. My boyfriend, you know, he's... He wants it. I, uh, I give it to him, but uh, you know what? I, I, I'm, 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 an, I'm abhorrent of it. You know. And she said, she said to the girl, she said, "Don't be afraid of it." She says, "Don't be afraid of it. Just make believe it's a banana. Just, just treat it like it's a banana. Lick it and uh, be very happy." And what was Dr. Root's race? And how long has this been going on in our country? <laughs> oh, Mike. Make light of it, Mike. Come on. I can't help but notice. I know, Mike. You, you know what? Mike, you're too analytical. Mike, do we call come a lot the uh, Willie Brown knob gobbler? Yeah, she sucked her way up. Oh, absolutely. Just like, what was her name? Uh, the Republican gal that ran HP. Oh, it's, it's 
escaping me right now. Oh. She sucked her way up, too. And then she destroyed Hewlett Packard. Oh, yeah, I know who you mean, Mike. I can't think of her name. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She, uh, she was, uh, oh, God. Uh, it'll come to me. I know. WX2TU. Okay, good to hear you, Bruce. I didn't know you were in here, too. And uh, We're in the rogues gallery. This is a good place to be. Yes, the, uh, the, the, the hecklers, scallywags, and swines are no longer present. Carly Fiorina. Yes. Uh, in the rogues gallery, WX2T. Tony Fauci, we all know who he is. Head of the National Institute of Health. Under the Obama administration, sent $3.7 million to the Wuhan lab in China. For what? For studying the coronavirus. At the same time, in 2015, the Obama administration told all the laboratories in the United States, if you want to be eligible for federal funding, you have to stop your research on the coronavirus. If you're still studying the coronavirus, then you're not eligible for federal funds. So basically, they wanted everyone to stop researching the coronavirus, except the Wuhan lab in China. Are you with me so far? Yeah, but you left the part out. They funded the Wuhan lab for four years. Okay, well, well it could come it started out back ma- then. More so okay. uh, in the, then in the in major media. Well, uh, with Fox, Tony you know, Fauci, nobody else will do it. On national but TV, it's all over the internet. That, that has to be YouTube or whatever. That has to come out. Made a prediction that this administration and this president, meaning Trump, was going to face a pandemic like he, no one's ever seen before. In 2017. He knew that. Why did he know it? I'm thinking because he paid for the research. Anyhow, when the Russian collusion failed, when the impeachment failed, and when when this economy was going like it has never gone before, great economy, lowest unemployment, everything, and the Democrats didn't have a snowball's chance in hell of winning in November, all of a sudden, this pandemic hits. Coincidence, Mike? No. Actually, I have video, the video of Fauci saying that this president is going to have to deal with, quote, an unplanned pandemic, end quote. Yeah. And it makes me sick to think that people who are just hungry for power would want to kill that many people and put... Even more, what's even done more damage is putting people out of work, closing down businesses and people's livelihoods, all because, and they want to keep it closed down, the Democrats want to keep it closed down, all for trying to have a shot at gaining power in November, because they knew that if the economy kept going the way it was, they didn't have a, they didn't have a shot. Just go look at the Georgia Guidestones, and that'll fill you in right there. Look at the what, Mike? The Georgia Guide Stones. Georgia Guide Stones. I'll check that out. Yeah, yeah. Search that one. That'll curl you here. They were put up in 1980. And realize, the Chinese had a hard-on for my president because he was the first one that stood up to them. So, uh, they would aid and abet the commie Democrats. Well, it's more than the commie Democrats. The Republicans and the Democrats are one of the same. It's the globalists. Notice they're only hurting mom and pop stores. All the global multinationals are open. Walmart, Costco, all of them. Except for mom and pop stores. It's exactly what they did to our farms in this country. Yeah. Yep. I, 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 it just makes me sick, Mike, to think this is the world we're living in. WX2T. 12 a.m. It's been going on all along, but we've been too busy trying to earn a living to take care of our families to pay attention. It's really our fault. McCarthy was right. We should have been hanging these bastards all these years. 
The president should rescind John F. Kennedy's executive order stating that public employees could unionize. And the union should be ripped out of these organizations. It was never meant to be that way. JFK, the King Kami himself, and the head of the, you got it started, the AFL-CIO, both said public employees shall never unionize. And look what we have today. Fauci was the one that said that the, back when Obama was the president, the next president is going to face a major pandemic. Yeah, they had it planned, just like they had 9-11 planned, to remove our rights. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I just seen something yesterday, I think it was, about how this whole thing with the pandemic was planned. It wouldn't surprise me. I mean, you know, the Democrats couldn't care less about 150,000 and 60,000 people dying because uh, all they want is the power. They don't care. They want the power. And the, if they win, I'll guarantee you, January 21st, they will just throw all the investigations in the trash. They'll all be gone. Uh, Comey will be back in the FBI and everything else. And uh, uh, Hillary Clinton will be laughing with her 33,000 emails in her pocket, you know, whatever. It's going to be, uh, you know, and uh, Bernie Sanders was just on, and he said that 24 hours after Biden gets sworn in, that they're going to be creating Medicare for all. Now, that's going to be great. People on Medicaid will have everything for free, and Medicare will have to pay 20% because they're going, to, they're going to cancel everybody's insurance. Nobody's going to be able to have insurance. So you can't even have Medicare Part D. That's what communists do. If you look at it, it's one of the planks in the Communist Manifesto. Control the people's health care. And uh, then they have one more left. Take the guns. Yeah, well, already uh, Harris is talking about that. Yeah, yeah. The great, uh, the great prosecutor, right? Yeah. You didn't hear one of those people last night say anything about the protesters. Um, I think that when you're throwing rocks, bottles, and shooting lasers. No, well, they're after the people because they have a final solution. So all the people step up and start shooting this, these commies, it'll be the end of them. But I got to get out of here. All the crazies are piling in here. But uh, we'll definitely catch you guys tomorrow. Uh, we're usually on 44, but because uh, of Richie, we wound up here. N2LYM73, do you, uh, Bruce? Um, I, I think the other Bruce went uh, in Connecticut. And um, uh, you too, Rick. We'll, we'll catch up with you guys. But you're all on to something. And Rick, it's not a conspiracy theory. When you're talking about facts, they're not theories. And uh, it's, it's all real. I hate to tell you guys that. It's all real. Especially the pedophilia and the child sacrifices. And to a land. 7 3 all the way around. There's two of them. There's the, the, the whistler, the queer whistler, and then the other guy. No, they're not. Just uh, ignore them, Mike. I mean, they don't go away when you ignore them because they, they're they not blocking you. They're not blocking anybody. And, uh, you know, you just give them, you give them a little bit of something to talk about when you talk at them. You know, you're not allowed to talk at them anyway, so to hell with them. Yeah, Roger, right now I hear you. But, yeah, I had a grand old time, and the liberals were triggered.
Well, you know, that's what the FCC says. Just ignore them. Don't worry about them. Because eventually uh, we'll come up with who they are. And then, uh, you know, what they want to do is don't, I, I ask them if they would just simply out them. They don't have to find them or nothing like that. Just let everybody know who they are. This guy's not making any fucking sense. That's the best thing they could do. And then we'll self-police. Yeah, you wouldn't have to worry about anything at that point in time. Um, but that's that's what I ask, and I don't know what if they're going to do that or not. But uh, they may not be able to just uh, do that. But I said since you can't go and uh, you know prosecute them, uh, you know within the lifetime of hu of a human being, you might as well go and just out them. Yeah, we'll just hit them with a notice of apparent liability, and uh, that'll out them. There you go. That'll work. That'll out them. Yeah. Let's talk about that. Oh, yeah, no more anonymity, no there. more hiding. Uh, I mean, uh, you know, there's no reason RKB. to do that anyway, unless they're childish and senile. Like, like Biden. Can I talk about uh, Mitch McConnell's neck for a second? Chicken neck. <laughs> the chicken yeah, neck. Yeah, were you saying, Mikey, yeah, that Biden's coupling with Mitch McConnell? McConnell? No, 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 no. I just wanted to tell you that the uh looks like Mitch McConnell's vagina neck. Oh my God. Uh, He's a rooster. <laughs> yeah. That that was your buddy, Mike. <laughs> What's up, Mr. Timmy? What's going on, brother? Yep, that's the same scumbag that's been around for a decade. Let's talk yeah. about Mikey's Yep, it, it is. Uh, so ignore him. You, everyone here can talk over him. Yeah, yeah, he's pretty weak. Hey, hey Timmy, we call him Vagina Neck. He's no longer froggy. Vagina. <laughs> what did he say? Anyway, uh, so what's up, dear Timmy? How you feeling, bro? more. I gotta tell you one thing, man. We're getting closer to the uh, marijuana being uh, approved in New Jersey. Yeah, it's polling about 64 percent, Mammoth. Yeah, we're we're getting there, kiddo. We're getting there. Yeah, you sign up for that crap. They're gonna take your guns. Yeah, that's exactly right. We ain't got no guns for them to take anyway. Yeah, but you see, if they do that, you know, think about that. If they, you sign up for that and they go to take your guns, you won't know that you, they've got your guns taken. Yeah, that's right, kid. I don't think they'll ever get that. Let's talk about Mikey's black grandkids, kid. Yes, they will, Just because uh, when you fill out an application for a firearm in New Jersey, uh, they because, uh, ask you if you, you smoke marijuana or do any drugs. Children. Yeah, just ignore them. They go away. I think cannabis is going to help out a lot of people. Personally, I you know, they. Try. I I think in Pennsylvania it didn't work. I think it's forbidden because it cures a lot of ills, Mike, and it gives them a competition. I don't know. When here in uh, uh, Pennsylvania, they made it uh, medical marijuana accessible, but uh, I didn't see people running to the stores. Jersey too, and they're all out. I tell you, man, it's been helping a lot of kids. Well, there was okay. one kid it helps, he... That's good. You know, the, what more do you want? Yeah, yeah, if there, it helps, there, that's great. There was one kid here in Hope, New Jersey. The little, little bugger had uh, 100 seizures, seizures a day. And if he got the real Phoenix tears, he was down to one or, or none a day. And that fat bastard, Chris Christie, screwed his family over, and they had to move to Colorado. It's a disgrace. Yeah, that's um, it's a shame that they did that. They wanted they wanted the kid to undergo surgery before they would give it to him. When they gave it to him, it, it, it was junk. It, it wasn't oil. Yeah, my terrible. It's been years. NP2G. W-W-2-W-W. I know another cat in 12 I am transmitting that cured himself of skin cancer with that oil. It's insane, but it's entertaining. They they truly are showing their insanity. But uh, hey, listen, I've got um, uh, a 2496 also here. They, uh, the guns away for people in uh, marijuana.
a medical car <laughs> and got Florida. shot down in the Supreme Court. Think about it, Dan. You ever heard of somebody smoking weed and then going out and killing somebody with a gun? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's so freaking ridiculous, isn't it? It's the stupidest shit, man. I see meth go wild. I don't know about a freaking pot. You know, back toy. see too many Funyuns. <laughs> Yeah, they went. I heard about it. They tried to read the front of the barrel, and it said, uh, "Wait for the flash." <laughs> they can't take our guns because of oh, that. It's ridiculous. Did you see the one uh, cartoon of the van that was supposed to be, uh, you know, DE something or other, which confiscated the weapons, and they had all the bullet holes in the world on it? Yeah. <laughs> Once they legalize it, they won't be able to handle. They won't be able to even ask about the only guns if you're smoking. Who in the right mind is going to say, "Yeah"? <laughs> well, COVID did to the economy over here in New Jersey. I, I think they'll recoup in billions with uh, marijuana, uh, Timmy. It wasn't the COVID alone. It was the uh, your governor who shut down all of the uh, places, everything, just about bankrupts uh, every single solitary small business person in the world there that that, that works in uh, Jersey. Well, oh, when I see New Jersey, I'm talking about Dickhead Murphy. Well, a shame on them then, because then what the hell's the difference between that and a church and you know, um, you know, a local restaurant? You can't even sit in a goddamn restaurant over in PA. That was my point. Well, protesting's okay. Yeah, protesting's okay. Yeah, I had to wear a mask to go in to take a leak in the bathroom in a gas station. Gee whiz, you never know. I may catch it from uh, the air. I got my new mask in today. I bought one of those paintball steel mesh face masks. I don't give a crap. I'm not wearing one. I'm, I'm going to get one with rabbit ears. And I got mine. Nice mesh steel mask. It's good for, uh, it's good for uh, riots and all, too, so you don't get your teeth knocked out. Uh, I like it already. You gotta put, you gotta paint some marijuana leaves on the side, Timmy. Uh, Mike, I think you brought up yesterday about Bongino. You gotta listen to him today. Incredible. Uh, he, he makes a lot of sense. You know, the saying, you know, even if Trump wins in a landslide, they will not concede. Probably for a few weeks until they get all the all these other votes counted, and they're they're going to try everything in their power to steal this from him, and it's it's not going to end well. It's not going to end well, but uh, they they have uh, they have there's something going on, and uh, he said just mark my words, uh, they're they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna try and screw him like they did last time, but I think they're they're making an even uh, uh, just balls to the wall effort now. Yeah, you thought I was nuts telling you about the queers, right? And California comes out and proves my point, uh, without a doubt. There you go. I wasn't even going to key up tonight. I'm not feeling well, but uh, I said, you know what? I'm on the computer. I'm just looking around and shit, and I saw this. I'm like, that's right. He said that, and I, I, wa- I, w- I wanted to uh, get on the radio tonight and talk to you about it, but uh, my God, what, what pure scum. You know what? Dogs are great. Humans are some of the scummiest scum on, of scum. The fact of the matter is, the election results got to be certified by December 20th. It's in the Constitution. So the Democrats can pull all the bullshit they want. It's not going to work. Facebook is not allowing anyone, if you post the results of the election and you say that Donald Trump won, they will delete your post. They, you, will, you are not allowed to post anything like that on Facebook. All right, that's how, that's how how far big uh, big tech is going. It's incredible that that, that uh, Lynn Wood uh, they they uh, they delete they uh, suspended his account. Uh, what was it yesterday? I think we talked about it. But uh, big tech is uh, uh, they need they need to be uh, they need to be reeled in. Yeah, well, look at what Zuckerberg is. Zuckerberg's not human. <laughs> And Twitter, Jack Dorsey, he's not human either. Yeah, they're, they, they're, they're not even hiding it anymore. The, the, the left-wing media, is, it isn't, they're not even hiding it anymore. It's, it's, uh, it's plain for all to see. Uh, if you have half a frickin' brain and two eyes, uh, it's plain to see what they're, what they're doing. And, uh, and they're getting away with it. That's why they keep doing it, because they're getting away with it. But you know what? Wait till uh, November 4th when it's turned around and we shove it up their ass again, man. I can't wait. 
I can't wait. And that's a uh, that's a contributing factor of uh, my support for uh, for the president uh, because of uh, all the nefarious things that these uh, scumbags are doing. Uh, they're they're scumbags. And Nancy Pelosi, she's blaming the freaking salon. Get the. F- I saw the salon owner owner last night on Tucker, and she's like, I never. I she made the appointment, and I've had cameras for five years, and she's blaming me. You know, she she you know she doesn't have to wear a mask, but we're closed down, and we, you know, she needs to go in front of a firing squad. There's there's no doubt about it. I think uh, I don't think we'd have a hard time uh, assembling uh, people that would uh, uh, volunteer to do it either. Put her out of her misery. Put us out of our misery. Yeah, I volunteer to be an executioner. It wouldn't bother me because they're, they're not people. All I can say is you got antenna work to do. Things are starting to cool down here a little bit. There's a little less humidity. And uh, I've been out there beefing up the radio system. Joe knows all about that. <laughs> but tell him. Uh, but now's the, now's the time to do it. So uh, if you want to work the low band, CW, sideband, forget about FT8. FT8 is like uh, artificial insemination. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyhow, <clears throat> everybody sounds good. It's great, great to hear everyone. And uh, God save the Republic. And uh, Jesus, what is it? 54 days, Mike? Uh, I don't know. Man, I was watching uh, Fox before and listening to Hannity a little bit earlier on the radio when I was shaving. And uh, it's only going to get more and more diabolical. And uh, the mud slinging, as they used to call it back in the old days, it's it's going to get worse. But uh, we we knew this was going to happen. So anyhow, keep praying. Keep praying for Republic guys. I'm going to get out of here. Uh, guys, carry the torch. I know you will. Uh, WX2T, and um, we're looking forward to a little din-din here. See you later, guys. Yeah, I'm worried they're going to do another full slag. The phony virus is running out of steam, Rick. Yeah. Hey, you know, and this, this flu... You know, uh, the, the, our, our, uh, real quick, our, our governess, uh, Gina Raimondo, said it's uh, more imperative than ever before to get the flu vaccine. And I said to my wife today, you said, you know what? I don't know. I, I, I'm not a scientist. I'm not a doctor. I don't know if I want to make myself with my immune system more vulnerable. You know, uh, I feel good. I'm, I'm in pretty damn good shape. You know, I had a heart attack and all that stuff. Pretty more bitter. You all look crap. But uh, be right with you, Jen. But you know, I, I said, you know, uh, I I don't know. I don't I don't even know if I want to get a flu vaccine. You know, I'm wearing a freaking mask wherever I go. I wash my hands 20 times a day, whatever the hell it is. Why should I get a flu vaccine? Yes, one more before you go. Time. You know, they're puzzled why no here. one in Africa has got, got the corona rona. You know that, right? L- little double there. What, Mike? I said they're puzzled why no one in Africa caught the corona rona. I said, did you hear that? I, I don't think so, Mike. Now, that's very interesting. I was going to say, you know why? Because uh, hydroxychloroquine is available over the counter there. Well, there you go. With if, if that's true, that's unbelievable. Yeah, they, they they murdered people here in this country, especially Homo Cuomo and Marxist Murphy and uh, the Michigan governor and the California governor, and it goes on and on. And the PA governor. Oh yeah. Yeah, Roger that. Cards. Oh boy. Cards. Yeah, what do you call a hundred lids at the bottom of the ocean? My a good start. Thank you. My. See you guys later. To be waxed Yeah, we used to reserve that joke for attorneys, but uh, it fits just as well for lids. Anyway, take care, Rick. N two Z R I. Yeah, why don't the sharks eat attorneys, uh, Joe? Fuck you, Mike. What's that, Mike? Professional courtesy. 
Talk to you, Mike. That's a professional courtesy. Oh, the rectum dilator is here. Yes. Erect your dial. Yeah, he sticks everything in there. He thinks everything goes. Open your mouth. Let me look in your ass. Nothing but shit comes out of both ends, you fucking limp tart. Limp tart's a butt hurt because my president was nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize today, and he actually did something. What a fucking lie and what a joke. Oh, uh, we got an idiot in there. Anyway, Mike, I'm going to go get some chow. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, no yeah, reason to get the uh, the blood uh, yeah, boiling yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, catch yeah, you soon, yeah. Mike. Take care. Yeah. N2VRI. Yeah, very good, Joe. We'll catch up with you, bud. I got a phone call here. I'll be back in a few minutes. In 12 a.m. Yeah, roger that. All, All right, right take, care, take care. Take care. Good talking to you. Uh, good hearing you on. Uh, it sounds great. And Mike, uh, go ahead, take your call. I'll be back. Uh, I'll, I'll be on the side here. I'll clean around here in the shack. K2 RPM. Yeah, take care, Bruce. Sorry about that. Uh, I heard you. No problem. Uh, you, you go right through. You cut right through this nonsense. n 2 right. Catch you later. Yeah, you cut through your shit, too. Oh, what sicko. Yeah. 
Hey, Joe, you working tomorrow night or during the day? At night. I'll be going in at uh, 11 or something like that. 1 or something like that. Hello. 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 Good to hear you, man. Richie's a fucking oh, idiot. Richie's a fucking idiot. Richie's a fucking idiot and a mongoloid. He's a mongoloid yeah, idiot. It really butthurt, Richie, because they're going to lose in a big way in November, and uh, they're, they're having a hissy fit. I hear you. I want to see this debate. There can be no debate. It's going to be a slaughter. If it goes off, I, I, I wonder if it's going to go off. They're afraid, unless, you know, they got that earplug in there where they're telling them everything what to say to debate, you know? Richie's a fucking mongoloid. I should jam that earplug. Yeah, yeah. I'd be more than happy to provide a valuable public service doing just that. Oh, they're bragging that uh, Biden pulled in 300 and something million dollars or some crap like that, but, you know, uh, whatever. Doesn't matter. You know, to me, it's, it, it, it boggles the mind. You see, uh, you just see uh, anywhere the guy goes, you just see a sea of people. Uh, just the enthusiasm is like, they're saying it's, it's even more than it was last time, you know? So uh, I don't know. I don't know where the news uh, or where these polls are coming up that... Uh, that uh, Biden's leading them. I don't know who the I don't know who the hell. Pardon me. I don't know who the hell they're polling. Yeah, well, we've added forty seven percent of the black people because they the Antifa burned down their shit. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm going to give a little credit to uh, Candace Owens as well, Mike. Uh, that that girl. Uh, she's very very intelligent and uh, and hopefully she's getting it out there. And you know you got to also give credit to uh, uh, what the hell, uh, Herschel Walker. Uh, you know. Uh, there's just a few they're getting they're getting the message out there that uh, uh, the the Democrats are not doing anything for you people. They're not doing anything for you. All they're doing for you is uh, pandering to you to get your vote. Yeah, right, Mike. Uh, right, Richie. That's right. And when he was going the other day, speaking to the crowds, he says we couldn't get here. They wouldn't allow us. But protesters who destroy things in their in their state, then they allow that. So they allowed us. We said we're going to protest. Yeah, 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 he made signs of peaceful protesters. <laughs> yeah, it was a protest. It wasn't a rally. The virus doesn't affect you if you have a protest. Exactly. It's it's a smart virus. It's getting close. This election, boy, is getting pretty damn... And all the fraud that's going to be going on with these mail-in votes, though. What are we going to do about that? That's a good question. Well, you said there's going to be a ton of them. electoral college votes on election night. It doesn't matter. What was that, Mike? As long as he hits 270 electoral college votes on election night, it doesn't matter. Okay, okay. Uh, don't be so sure, Mikey. Uh, they, uh, they, have, they have stolen several elections in the past, so, you know, uh, it's all... Uh, it's all, all this crap is a huge hoax. And uh, uh, the whole uh, Spygate thing and uh, <clears throat> what the FBI did and everything, it was uh, that propelled them to take over the House, okay, and to, and, or the, the Congress. It t- that, uh, that's what got them into Congress because uh, they diverted people's attention, and uh, they wound up getting Congress. We, we, we need all three. We need to Congress, we need the Senate, and we need the presidency. And this country is going to is going to go into the stratosphere uh, with success. There's no question about it. I can't excuse me. Well, if you remember, Trump is a clown. In uh, 2018, all the Republicans won, and then they counted the fake votes, and then they lost. So, yeah, I agree. Exactly. Don't come in and say oh, Trump is a clown. You throw your call in there if you have a if you have an opposing view. More than happy to take it up. But coming in here and just throwing your stupid little comments in just makes you look like an asshole. So you have a good evening there, my friend. KXTV. You got to be armed with facts and argue your point using logic and critical thought. Exactly. Exactly right. Thank you. Uh, thanks for playing. You lose. I missed it. Just came back. I was talking to Lulu. Somebody made a comment. Yeah, somebody came out here, Trump's a clown. Yeah, that, that doesn't fly here, bro. You know, say, hey, uh, bro, my call is uh, uh, KB2, I suck. Uh, then you can come in and, and talk. <laughs>
Yeah, yeah, they come in here. They don't you know you the the comments. That's it. The worst thing. The worst thing they can do. Probably one of those wide receivers. Yeah, yeah. You know, you're here in the. Uh, uh, baseball, football, and, and basketball, their ratings are taking a dump, man. And I couldn't be happier. Could not be happier. Since when? Do you, do you, uh, that, that guy, that Blake guy that got shot, right? Should not have shot him seven times. That's, you know, that's, that's a fact. There's no doubt about it. But he shouldn't have resisted arrest. And so, and he shouldn't have stuck his finger in his, his ex-girlfriend's vagina and then and said you've been with another man and then tried to steal her car. And, uh, you know, that, that GoFundMe page they got for him, he's got $2 million in his GoFundMe page. Not only that, the NFL players are putting his name on their helmets. He's a sexual predator. He's a sexual deviant. Okay. Why don't you just put Bill Cosby's name on your on your uh, on your freaking uh, on your helmet? And how do you think the woman feels that was sexually assaulted by this by this scumbag? Okay. What happened to uh, what happened to uh, the uh, uh, that that woman's movement? Uh, what the hell's the name of it again? I forgot. It escapes me. The pink pussy ass. No, that freaking. Uh, after Weinstein and all that crap, what the hell they call it? So we are talking the women's liberation movement, the Gloria Steinem, the Satanist, the Me Too movement. Thank you, Me Too. I don't know. I, I, I get brain farts there. Thanks, Dan. Yeah, the Me Too movement. Whatever happened to Me Too movement? Well, you know what? You know what those women yell? My body, my choice. And you should have the same choice when it comes to vaccinations. But no. Vaccination out pretty soon, no? A month or two? You Are you going to get one, Richie? Take that vaccination. What was that, Mike? You'd have to be an idiot to take that vaccination. Oh, no good, huh? No good? None of them are good. Oh, I thought Trump said he was coming out with something in a month or two. No, no. He won't make them mandatory, I'll tell you that much. No, there's six vaccines in the works right now. Yeah, maybe for thee, but not for me. So I'm just saying, I'm not taking it myself, but, uh, you know, hey, uh, the people that are, that are, their hair are on fire, let them take it. I know, I know somebody down the band that, uh, is probably going to take a triple dose. Yeah, he's not too bright. Uh, yeah, Trump's vaccination is hydrochloroquine and zinc. That should be available for all of us. Yeah, no, it's not. I know it's not. They, they, they won't allow it. You know how many people they killed with that? You know how many people died because of that? Really? Oh, sure. Absolutely. They refused to give it to people, and people it would have it would have helped people. And then they, they said, oh, no, it doesn't work. It doesn't work because Donald Trump says it works. You know how many people died because of that? Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I know it. Anything he comes up with, uh, he can come up with a cure for uh, heart disease, anything, and they'll uh, put it down and will out. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, governors and you got this, this asshole Cuomo writing a book on how to handle, how to handle COVID. <laughs> oh, boy. We're in bizarro world, guys. Yeah, he knows how to handle it. Just put everybody in the nursing homes. To the nursing homes, and that's all you have to see. That's it. And then and people, people praise him. People praise him. We, we've got a president who's just, who's cutting peace deal after peace deal after peace deal. And he's been nominated for the, uh, for the uh, <clears throat> peace prize twice. Two times. All right. Douchebag uh, Obama was nominated. He got it. And he did nothing. The guy did nothing. All he did was be a black guy who became president. That's all he did. This guy, he's, he's negotiating frickin' peace deals with their Israel and so on and so forth. I mean... <laughs> yeah, well, uh, there was no mention of Trump's Nobel nominations on the news. So it, it, they expose themselves for what they are. Absolutely. You're 100% right, Mike. No mention whatsoever. Oh, he's butt hurt. Oh, let him keep tra- He's not coming over you guys, so just keep on talking. Don't worry about it. It ain't working, dummy. You gotta have a signal. 
I don't know when. I don't know when they're going to learn their lesson. They're learning disabled like the rest of them. Instead of teaching them, uh, giving them an education, they, they taught them uh, rectum dilation. <laughs> hey, you were mentioned this morning on uh, 3868, Mike. Oh, really? I hope it was in a good way. No, it was. It was kind of. It's kind of Joe, uh, AA3BF. Uh, we go back many, many years. Uh, Richie, you know him. You probably don't remember his call, but this guy Joe he used to come in and hang out with us. Uh, I think when we... Uh, when we started up on 3814, when, we, when Rich and I started that frequency, that uh, they got uh, taken over by uh, uh, people. Uh, AA3DF, he's like, oh yeah, that Mike, man, he's a piece of work. He wants to hang everybody. That's not true. I only want to hang traitors, but we got a lot of them. Oh yeah, that's everybody. <laughs> everybody on the Democratic side. <laughs> And more than half of the Republicans, too. Yeah, 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 I agree. It's it's messed up. Yeah. Any Republicans speaking at the DNC, any of these low lights that come out against my president, they got to go to the gallows. I don't mind if they come out against them, Mike, as long as they make a... a, a, a a good argument, but they can't. So, you know, like that guy just came out and just threw a stupid comment out there. You know, like I said, you want to come in, you want to talk? Well, let's go right ahead. Well, I'll listen to you. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm more tolerant than anybody on the left. But, uh, but when you come out and act like a, like an idiot, then, you know, tolerance goes out the window, you know, because you're an idiot and we don't talk to idiots. Yeah, he's a hiney hole. Or an asshole. I didn't say this. I did. This is a KF2GG. Oh, shit. <laughs> a hiney hole. Come on, how old are you? Ah, uh, but I can't say it on the air. Laura, she's out here. No, she's not. Besides being traitors, they're sex perverts, too. And they screw little children. That's what turns my gut. People are not going to have tolerance for that. Mark my words. Nor should they. I uh, I advocate something I call death by daddy. Daddy gets to do whatever he wants. And if the poor child doesn't have a daddy, I'm sure a lot of people would be willing to stand in, especially me. Yeah, you torture them. I go for that. Go for the old ways. Uh, go ahead, contact. Contact, go ahead. What? Are you looking for the complaint department, sir? <laughs> the complaint department. Hold on, I want to hear this this douche nozzle. Go on, hold on, guys. Let's hear what this this miscreant has to say. Yeah, you nozzle douchel. Shut up, Richie. Shut up. I want to hear his criticism. I mean, we, we're out here having fun. Hey, we, we quit key. We're, we're a bunch of, you know, we're, we're good, all good, close friends. So uh, uh, <clears throat> what's, what's your problem there, bro? I am the complaint department. <laughs> come on. Come on. Key it up. Let's go there, bud. Come on. Let's go. I know you can do it. God, I hate live hard. Apparently, we talk too much. Wait a minute. Let me sell all my stuff because... Uh, I'm sadly mistaken. I thought I bought this radio to talk on. Damn, oh, what? Well, the person that came out here made a comment. Now, you, you want to say it again? He, uh, no, he said we're cursing. But sexually raping little children's okay with him, obviously. We're uh, KX2V for station identification. They never give their call signs because they're little men. Yeah, that's what gets me, right? Yeah, Mike, they don't give their call. That's like, no, she can't be a man. Uh, he's not a man. he got to give his call. 
actually a coward. Asshole. I wonder why he waited. Hold on, Richie. I got I got a word for him. Hey, buddy, you're an asshole. Ah, uh, you might have missed him. He might have went out to the outhouse. I don't know, guys. I I just uh, I'm not scared. I'm not scared. I'm I'm just apprehensive because one of the things I'm worried about is just the money. The money. This is what Mike and I were talking about before, Bruce. The money is being poured into the Biden campaign to appeal. Okay, Jen, I got the call. The money is being poured into the uh, the Biden campaign for the great unwashed and uh, the the uninitiated, the the people, the, the illiterates, and so on and so forth. That's what scares me more than anything else. I just hope. Uh, to, you know, <laughs> kind of a, an oxymoron. No, we shall overcome. Anyhow, uh, but you know where I'm coming from. It's just, uh, I, uh, we're getting close, guys. We're getting very, very close. So I hope the truth, the truth, underlying truth will prevail. So I'm going to listen out. Mike, pick it up. Bruce seven three, uh, Mike seven three. I'm going to listen out and keep the volume up as I'm getting ready for dinner here. WX two T Rogues Island. Yeah, very good, Rick. Enjoy dinner. You all I got to say is uh, you got about six weeks to prepare, and you better be prepared. And I hope everything's clean and well oiled. And um, it, it, my gut's telling me it's going to get ugly. Because the Marxist never goes down easy, and that's uh, that's pretty much how I could summarize it. And Bloomberg is burning into the hundred million dollars, dumping it, dumping it into Florida for Biden. What an idiot! And to LYM, go ahead, Bruce. Yeah, real quick. Yeah, hey, I heard that too. Sorry, uh, Bruce. I heard that too about Bloomberg this morning. Jesus, you know, uh, uh, Florida is real close. Although the uh, the right, the Republicans have uh, have the upper hand right now, certainly in, in certain districts. But it's it's going to be a uh, you know it's a battleground state. It's gonna, it's going to be pretty close. But uh, you see, it, it yeah, well it always boils down to us. It's all about money. But uh, Jesus, oh uh, well, hope for the best. Keep praying, guys. Praying helps. It really is very important. Keep praying. WX2T. Bruce73, Mike, we'll see you later. WX2T. Yep. Anybody who picked, who Lois Lerner picked on is a friend of mine. That woman leaks pus wherever she goes. He's 100% correct in everything she said. Yeah, no, I remember when that went down. There's a lot of people that no longer think of this conspiracy theory, but there's still quite a few that don't believe it. I think Lois Lerner can take the Fifth Amendment at the end of the piece of rope. Wouldn't that be lovely? That would be fantastic. I'd throw a party. She's ugly. W3JKC. King Pox Trot number two, golf, golf. Let me grab this phone. That's Joe. I'll be right back. K2RPM. Yeah, I hope he's okay. What's going on? 12 a.m. You know, we should bring back the old town square where they uh, put you in st- in the stock in the and uh, town square where you could... Uh, uh, you know, throw uh, throw uh, everything from uh, 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 waste to feces to get you put Hillary Clinton, Lois, the whole tribe, and and just have a parade of people come by and just eviscerate these people. 
It's too humane. The Spaniards had an interesting penalty. They set you on top of a huge wooden wedge. Oh, I like that, Mike. We're too nice. We lock them up, and then they have a fake virus, and they let them all out. You, you, you can't risk that. And here, here's my point. If the mask is so effective, why didn't they just pass masks out to the prisoners? Yeah, I know. Well, that whole thing is bullshit. Now they're... Uh invoking uh, fines and uh, it, it, it it's just it's nuts it's it's just uh, government overreach and so who's going to issue the fines who's going to follow up on the fines uh, you know what's the protocol is it going to be like a traffic ticket and if you don't pay the fine what's what's the retribution